In this video, I'm going to show you how this metal ring at the top of the disposal works in case you are confused about it like I was. Okay, folks, I'm going to give you a tip about installing a disposal, which drove me totally nuts when I was trying to figure this out and I could not find it anywhere explained. There was one guy on YouTube who got close to it, but he still didn't explain it correctly. So there's lots of videos out there showing you how to put one of these units in and they all just say, well, you just take the unit and you just put it up in there and you twist this ring and they show you how to align the ring and you know, everything's supposed to be just fine. But what they don't tell you is that sometimes, like when I got this unit, this is the rubber seal that fits on the top. When I got it, this ring was off like that. So I didn't know that this, this rubber seal is what actually holds the ring on. This holds the metal ring on. I thought that this metal ring had to be somehow in one of these grooves down here. See these grooves? It kind of looks like it would go there. And there's even a little notch right here. There's even a little notch right there. If you can see that. This thing's not focusing very closely. Come on, focus. Anyway, there's a little notch right there. And on this metal ring, on this one, Man, this focus is crazy. This has got this little notch right here, this little tab sticking out. Now the old ring from my old unit does not have that, which was exactly the same model. Anyway, so I spent forever trying to figure out how to get this ring on so that it wouldn't just pull off like this. Because my thinking was, okay, well, if I just if I just put this on like this and I put this rubber seal on, when I put this up, and latch it onto the other bracket that's installed on the sink, the sink will just pull right off. Well, that thinking wasn't correct. I finally got a hold of the company today and spent a bunch of time text messaging to them because they can't call you. And he explained to me that this rubber seal is what actually holds this on. And once you push the, the disposal up from the bottom, and you've locked, you've got this on, and you've got this underneath it. Once you've locked this all on, then it all stays in place. So if you have one of these things, if you've got one of these disposals, and this ring, I'm sorry about the focus, I don't know what's going on, it's my iPhone here, usually it's pretty good. Anyway, if you've got one of these, and you can't figure out what's going on and you can't understand how this goes on or if this is somehow one other guy said he had this and it was way down here somewhere it, it can't be way down there it's got to be up near the top here you just have to drop it over the top that's all you got to do and then the trick is you have to get this on over this rim over this little rim right here See, it's got a lip on it. This, this top rim has got a lip on it, if you can see that. And this, on the correct side of this, there's a lip inside there. Right inside there. So this has got an upside and a downside. You can't put it either way. It's got to only go one way. And if you have it flat, you'll see that these things are sticking further out on one side than the other. That's the side that goes down. And then underneath this edge, I can feel it here. I'm not, you probably can't see it, but there's a slight ridge here. It runs all the way around. It's like an indentation. Let's see if I can get that out so you can see it. Give me a second here, hold on. Yeah, it's not easy to see, but right in there is a ridge. There's a little indentation out at the bottom of this, of this little lip right here. When I say the bottom, I mean that side. So when you put this over, that lip is going to go inside this indentation. And it holds it quite firmly. And that, 
along with the pressure of this against the the upper bracket this this slides into the upper bracket and you slide it across that's what holds this whole thing on that's what holds the disposal itself up against the sink i hope that's of help to somebody that certainly would have been a help to me if somebody had explained this and i didn't spend an hour and a half trying to figure out how this thing clips on to the lower ring here which it doesn't it doesn't do that at all it just sits loose like this okay now i'm going to show you exactly how this ring goes over hopefully you can see this because i can't hold the camera i've just got it standing up there so so this is your metal ring and you can just drop that over pretty much any way you want it's kind of useful to have the unit lined up like i i know that this ring you know where this indentation is where it starts sliding onto the upper ring i know it's got to be right about here and with the pump oriented in the correct direction to be able to hook it up to the other pipe so i'm going to start it like there but you can put this on anywhere initially but the point is to get this on so as I said, this is the part that's down with the pieces sticking down. You put it over this, over this lip and don't worry if that moves around a little bit and you just start on one side and move it all the way around like that. And it's got to go down. You've got to make sure that this is free and that it's not caught against it. And then just push it down all the way around firmly. What I did is, is this. I just put my hand flat on it and you can feel when it goes all the way all the way down make sure there's nothing on there now this will be quite stiff because the rubber is pushing against it so this will be quite stiff which is what you want it's it's it shouldn't be sort of free floating it's got some pressure from the rubber seal against it and if this, this thing tries to push back up again which is what it just tried to do there. Just got to make sure it's down. Once you put it up into place, this will be held by the sink. And the sink is pushing down on the top here. So that's how you put this on. And then, as I say, get this lined up before you actually try to raise it. Look and see where it has to be lined up. Turn this so that it is lined up with, a, with the little um, slide that it goes into. So we've got to plug that slide right here, and we want to Okay, so here, this is, I'm using the old one because it's still installed in the sink, but this is the top part, okay? So this, in fact, that's interesting. Mine is different to this. It's got a little bit of a lock here, but anyway, you see how this is sloped up? See, it's not, it's not level, right? Which is the whole idea, because what you're doing here is you're putting this, you're putting this in there like that, all around, like that. And then you're moving, you're moving this like that. And as you're doing that, because it's sloped, it's pulling it up as you push this across. And then everybody tells you that you can get a, you can get some uh, uh, channel of uh, vice groups or channel lock and put them, put them on these two points right here and use that to pull it all to pull it together because you want this tab that's right here to come all the way up to the stop right there and that'll hold it very firmly on there so if you line this up beforehand this is going to be fixed this is going to be fixed to the sink if you line this up beforehand get it lined up to the orientation of where you how you want the pump to end up and then you don't have to move the pump you just push the pump up you've got this against the sink you're going to get that lined up there and then you just push it across while keeping the pump in the same place. The pump doesn't turn while you're doing that. You can just hold it if it tries to. That's it. That's how this all is supposed to go together. Hope that helps. Cheers. Okay, just as a last item, I contacted the company. This is Insyncorator who make this Badger 5 and asked them about recycling it. And they said that uh, they don't really have a factory recycling program, but you can recycle your old unit through your local 
waste disposal organization. They usually have a section for electronics and so on. So let's try to do that, folks. Instead of just throwing these things into the landfill, my pump actually, the motor was fine. Just the top of the inside of the of the uh, body had rusted out. So hopefully I can find a way to get that recycled. Okay, all the best. Cheers.